Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about conditional formatting in Power BI. This is not the standard conditional formatting that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about conditional formatting using tags. Let's start. All right, I'm in Power BI, and that's where I have created a really simple pivot table, which is where I have the year, the quarter, and the total sales presented. The example that I am going to discuss with you is going to be very simple, but building on that particular example, you can make the conditions more complicated and even the formatting more complicated. Now, although you can do conditional formatting using the standard given features or default features of Power BI, but writing DAX will give you the ability of writing more sophisticated conditions and also choosing more sophisticated colors and formats and things like that. So what do I want to do? I actually want to format all my total sales, which are below 1.5 million in any particular quarter. I understand you can actually do that by using the standard given features of Power BI, but let's just write some DAX to be able to format and let's just see how that actually works. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to right click on my sales table. In my sales table, I will create a new measure and let's just call this measure as conditional formatting. All right, the measure that I'm gonna write is a very simple if condition and I'm gonna say, hey, why don't you check for total sales, which is the measure that I have already created and see if that total sales is less than 1.5 million or not. So 1.5 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to the power of six and that is 1.5 million. And if that is less than 1.5 million, that the color that I want you to apply is the red color. Now, writing red is actually going to apply that particular color. But let's just first drag this measure to our pivot table and take a look at what result do we actually get. If I take this measure and drag it to my pivot table, I am actually going to get the word red against everywhere the sales was less than 1 million. But this text RED is also identifiable by Power BI and it's actually going to apply the red color when used in conditional formatting, not really dragged into the pivot table. Take a look. I'm actually going to get rid of this particular measure that I just dragged and I'm just going to open up total sales, hit the drop down, say conditional formatting, conditional formatting of the font color. And it asks me, hey, do you want to format by color scale, by rules or by the field value? When I say that I'd like to format by the field value, I can literally drop the measure right here. Remember that the field value should actually give you the format as an output, maybe a color as an output so that Power BI can read that color and apply the color right here. If uh, whatever measure that we have created, let's say conditional formatting. If that particular color did not return a color that Power BI identified as a valid color, you would not be able to select that particular measure right here. So for now, I'm just gonna click on okay because it identified red clearly and you can see that we have clearly applied the red color. So Power BI was able to identify the text RED as a valid color and it let you identify the color. Cool. Now let's just say that maybe you have a corporate color and you would not like to apply the red given to you by default by Power BI. You would like to apply your own red color. What you can actually do is maybe open a PowerPoint and in PowerPoint, why don't you actually create a shape? Let's just say that I create a, maybe a simple rectangle or something. And let's just apply the color that you actually use. So you can just click on the fill. You can use even the eyedropper and you can drop it onto the particular any object that gives you the corporate identity color or you can just click on more fill colors and pick up the color and design the color of your own. So let's just say that I go to standard and maybe I find that this is the color that I'd like to apply, this particular shade of red. Now, how will Power BI get to know what is this shade of red? I have to give some identification. That identification is called hex colors. And if you actually come back to the custom right here, you will actually find the custom hex code right here. Now copy that hex code, including the hash sign. So control A and control C to copy that. Now I'm just gonna go back to Power BI and wherever I wrote red, I am actually going to replace the red by this particular hex code. I'm actually gonna go back to that measure. In the measure, instead of writing the word red, I'm just gonna cancel that and write that very hex code, including the hash sign. Now, once I commit to this particular formula, I am actually going to get that shade of red applied as conditional formatting red color into my pivot table right here. So using DAX not only is going to allow you to write more complex conditions, although we just wrote for a very simple condition, but also it will allow you to write more complex color codes and formatting styles that you'd like to apply in your, in your conditional formatting. All right, that was a quick trick on using DAX to apply conditional formatting onto your data sets. In case you have any questions around this, please feel free to put them down in a comment and I'll be glad to reply. In case you're starting out with Power BI and you'd like to learn the fundamentals of DAX or with Power Query and start from there and then proceed on to solving more challenging, more sophisticated problems of your own data, I will highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.